Well, a wet night and rainy day for parts of the islands, as Moani mentioned. Koi County hit the hardest with heavy rains that closed off a bridge and kept rescue crews busy at work. Take a close look at this picture. Three women trying to cross the Hanakapiai stream with what appears to be an inflatable pool float. Luckily, rescue crews got there in time. We stopped it. No, don't go, don't cross. Go out. Just last month, a woman from New York died after getting swept away in the same stream. <laughs> 53 hikers got stranded, and crews had to airlift some of the hikers out the next day. And this is what the Hanakapiai stream looked like today. Crews used helicopters like the ones used last month to rescue two hikers late Tuesday night and airlifted the remaining 12 stranded hikers early this morning. With ecotourism, we do want people to see it, but again, this being more so this being... You know, really aware of the hazards that are there. Heavy overnight rain flooded other parts of the Garden Isle. Water levels rose high enough to force the closure of Hanalei Bridge. That affected students at Kapa'a Middle School and High School, and it also forced school officials to close Hanalei Elementary School. But it will reopen Thursday morning. As for the Kalalau Trail and the Nepali Coast State Park, state officials say that they'll remain closed with more rain expected throughout the night.